Hi everyone. In our previous session we have learned the ways to find rational numbers between any two given integers or fractions. And we ended the session with this question. So in this session we are going to understand how to write decimal rational numbers into fraction form. And I'm very much sure that by the end of this session you will be able to solve such type of questions very easily. You must be seeing some rational numbers on the screen. Let's pick any three of them. If I ask you to write these fractions in form of decimals then you'll simply divide the numerator by denominator in each case and can get the decimal form. By writing these numbers in decimal form we understand that which fraction has terminating decimal form and which are non terminating and have recurring digits and one more thing we need to understand here we also write 0.111 as just 0.1 and a bar above 1 this bar sign indicates that the number 1 repeat same way 0.142857 142857 and so on can be written as just because 142857 repeat so friends converting a fraction into decimal is very simple task but this might be little challenging when we have been given decimal form of rational numbers and asked to write them into ratio form so before understanding this we'll first learn a very important thing we know that the value of a number depends on its position or place in the number For example, let's take a number say 9. If 9 is at units place then it's just 9. When it get shifted to the tens place then its value is 90. If it is at hundreds place then it will have value 900. And at thousands place it holds value 9000. So let's first learn few basic things about place value of a number. In number 328 it represents the unit or ones place 2 is tens and 3 is hundreds place now if we increase one digit then number 3 shifted to the thousands place 2 is 100 and so on this simply means that we have 3000s 200s 8 tens and 4 ones Notice that here each place has a value 10 times the place to its right side. But do decimal numbers also have place value? Yes, same will happen in this case too. If the place value of number 4 is 10 times bigger than the column to its right, then the digit 7 should have position 1 upon 10th. Same way the digit 2 holds position 1 upon 100th. then 1 upon 1000 and so on and here the decimal point plays a central role why i'm saying this because if we notice before decimal the place value of number gets bigger and bigger as we go to the left while after decimal the numbers get smaller and smaller as we go to the right now if we multiply by 10 then one digit will shift to the left of decimal If we multiply by hundred, then two digits will shift to the left, and when we multiply by thousand, then all the three digits will shift to the left, and we will get an integer number. I hope we have understood this basic concept of place value of numbers. Now we know that decimal form of rational numbers can have finite number of digits, or it can have infinite number of digits with one. or more digits repeating or recurring in a pattern so let's first learn to write finite decimal rational numbers into the fraction form to write these numbers in fraction form our very first step is to remove the decimal point if we talk about the first number here as we just learned when we multiply by 10 then one digit will shift to the left of decimal Now we can see after decimal we still have two digits that means we have to again multiply by 2 tens to remove the decimal point so multiplying by 3 tens is as good as multiplying by 
Therefore, to write the number 1.125 in fraction form, we multiply and divide by 1000. We also write this fraction into its simplest form. And by simplest form, we understand that we divide this fraction with common factor or common number until there is no common divisor left except 1. So 1.125 can be rewritten as the fraction 9 upon 8. Let's cross check this. Let me also tell you all a simple trick on same. To write 1.125 in fraction form, we'll just count the number of digits after decimal. Here we have 3 digits, so we'll multiply and divide by 3 tenths, that is by 1000, and can write it in simplest form if possible. Very same way in the number 3.45, we have 2 digits after decimal point, so we multiply and divide by 100. In 0.5, we have only one digit after decimal point. So we multiply and divide by 10. So friends, please understand that we have to just count the number of digits after decimal point and accordingly multiply with tens or multiple of tens. So till now we have learned to write finite decimal rational numbers into fraction form. But suppose we have rational numbers in the form of infinite decimals, then how to go about it? We also have a very simple way for this. Let's learn that by taking these numbers first. We know that these infinite decimal numbers are equivalent to some fraction which we don't know yet. So first we denote it by any unknown alphabet x, y, z etc. I am taking alphabet f for fraction. In the next step, we look at the number of digit that repeat. Here, number 2 is repeating, that is only one digit. So we shift number 2 to one column on the left by multiplying with 10. Now as we know that we are multiplying 10 on right hand side, so we'll also multiply on left hand side to balance this. Same way in second number, two digits are repeating. So we multiply by 2 tenths, that is 100, on both the sides. So this will be equal to, now as we did in the case of finite decimals, here too we have to get rid of this decimal point. And that can be done only when all the digits after decimal are 0, right? So can you guess how can we do this? We can see in equation 1 and 2, after decimal, all the digits are same. So if we subtract 1 from 2, then after decimal, all the digits will be 0. And this is our third step, where we'll subtract 1 from 2. And we know that after decimal, if all the digits are 0, then decimal point is removed. And here we simply write 9f is equal to 2 and 99f is equal to 183. We now divide both the sides by 9 and here by 99. So we have got the fraction 2 upon 9. This means the decimal number 0.222 is equivalent to the fraction 2 upon 9 and 1.848484 is equal to the fraction 183 upon 99. We can again cross check this. Now note one more thing here, the fraction 2 upon 9 already in its simplest form. But the fraction 183 upon 99 can be again written as 61 upon 33 in its simplest form. I hope we have understood this. So can you write the number 1.246246 and so on in the form of fraction? Let's do it together. So what was our first step? Yes, since our task is to write it in fraction form, so we'll first denote it by an alphabet F. Next we check that after decimal, 3 digits are repeating. So we multiply by 3 tens, that is by 1000 on both the sides. Now third step is to remove this decimal point. So we subtract 1 from 2. 
and we have got the fraction as 1 to 4 5 upon 999. This means that the fraction form of the decimal number 1.246246 is equal to 1 to 4 5 upon 999. We can also simplify this to 415 upon 333. So that's all for this session but I have few questions for you to practice. Try to do this and check yourself how much you have understood. But if you still have any query, you can comment us below and do like this video if you liked it.